Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be setting up my theme for July in my brand new bullet journal. I just started a new bullet journal recently. I'm using the Tsuki Nighttime Edition bullet journal by Notebook Therapy and this is the first month that I'll be setting up in it. If you haven't watched my review of this notebook or my new bullet journal setup, I will link both videos in the description and here in the cards for you to check them out. For this theme, I will be using stickers for the first time. I recently got these lift stickers from AliExpress and they were the main inspiration for this theme. I never used stickers like these before, so I decided to try something new this month and be creative with them. Starting with the cover page, I'm doing the cover for this month on the left page as usual and for the title I'm doing these brown rectangles using the Arteza Real Brush Pen in the number 169 to make them look like hanging wooden plaques and it's where I'm going to stamp the word July. For the stamps I'm using the wood stamps from Let's Journal Store and my archival ink pad and the two elements together give the title a very camp-ish flower shop look that I was aiming for. With a 0.38 Muji gel pen I'm outlining the brown rectangles and doing some type of peg to attach them to the grid board that I will do in the end. Below the title I'm doing a quote. The quote that I chose was Always remember that something wonderful is about to happen as my positive mantra for the month. I'm adding a box to the quote and I'm creating a drop shadow on the different elements using my Tombow Fudenoski hard tip pen to give them more dimension. For the actual theme, I'm doing a huge grid board for all the pages and it's going to look like the plants, the layouts and the titles are all stuck to the grid board. I'm using the Tomodul brush pen N65 in the dark grey color to create the grid board with 4x4 four four squares. The stickers that I'm using have this white border around them which creates a very interesting distinction when on top of the grid board. The stickers have different types of plants in vases and bags and I had a lot of fun placing them on the spreads. Some plants are on the ground and others are attached to the grid board and I added some washi tape that I got from the washi tape shop and my circle stickers for extra decoration. Moving on to my monthly calendar, this month I'm doing a smaller calendar and it's going to be in a huge piece of paper that is going to be attached to the grid board. I did the same title as the cover page for this spread and I will repeat this title for all my other spreads. The calendar has 3x4 spaces for each day and I'm adding a stripe of color using my Zebra Mild Liner for the headers for each day. This theme is really interesting because you can be very creative with the different elements and dimensions and make your layouts pop a lot just by adding shadows. As I have been doing for the last couple of months, my real-time bullet journal setup for July is going to be up on my channel next week where you can plan your month with me in real time and it's where I talk about the pages and answer your questions while we listen to some soft lo-fi music. I'm doing the exact same thing as in the cover page, drawing the grid board behind the spread and adding the stickers to create this plant shop aesthetic to the page. All the supplies that I'm using in this theme are going to be linked down below as usual. Next up I have my habit tracker. I'm drawing four individual calendars for the spread to look like they are little cards or pieces of paper attached to the grid board. This month I'm tracking four habits. My water intake, meditation, read and workout. 
I'm using a green Pentel food and touch pen from the new 2020 set collection for the headers for each habit and my calendar stamps that I got from Amazon to have mini calendars where I'm going to track my habits. I added a box around each habit with a drop shadow to give them some dimension and the grid board behind the spreads and the stickers to complete the page. My next page is my mood tracker. I don't even remember when it was the last time that I did a mood tracker in my bullet journal, but because in July is going to probably be the month where I'm going to return to my normal life work-wise, I decided to do it for this month to track how I felt and to check what is causing my mood to change throughout the month. I decided to go for a circular tracker since most of my pages for this month have rectangles and the layout itself is normally a rectangle. I thought that a circle tracker would bring some diversity to the theme and would look cool to spice up the whole theme altogether. So I did two huge circles in the middle of the page and I'm dividing the circles into 32 sections for the 31 days of the month. At the bottom, I'm adding a simple legend of the mood that I'm going to track and the colors that I will use. The colors in order from left to right mean sad, tired, productive and happy. I finished up the pages with some stickers and the washi tape and of course the grid board. Also, because of my return to my workplace, I decided to bring back my sleep log spread to track when I work and when I sleep, and also how much I am sleeping. I did this spread for the first time in September when I started to work with shifts. If you didn't know, I work with shifts at my job, which means that sometimes I'm working in the morning and other times I'm working the whole night. So it's really important to keep track of my sleep and also when I will be sleeping. For this spread, I'm doing two big rectangles, one on each page, with the days of the month at the top and all the hours of the day on the sides. I can work at any time of the day at my job, so I need to include the 24 hours of the day in my sleep log. I like to do 15 days on one page and the other days on the other page, so everything has their own space and is not super tight and cluttered. I will track here my work hours and my sleep hours, and if you would like to see this page all filled in, make sure to follow me on Instagram at catsplanner where I will be posted at the end of the month. Next I have my expense tracker. For the title this time, I decided to change things up a bit and add a card that says let's talk about and then the standard title that I did for the other pages that just says money. So altogether it says let's talk about money, which is just another way to say expense tracker. It's just a simple change but breaks the streak a bit of doing the same title the same way. For the tracker, I did a column for the day, another for the description and another for the amount. Then I highlighted every other line with the grip zebra mindliner on the tracker to make it more interesting. Just by adding the drop shadows to the different elements on the page, it makes it more interesting to look at because it feels like it's three-dimensional and also making the grid board without touching the actual spread makes it pop even more.
my next page is a brand new page that I never did before in my bullet journal. I saw this page on Ashton Plan's Instagram and I was really curious to try it out in my bullet journal. I named this page currently because that was the title that she named hers in her bullet journal and this page is mainly for me to track everything that I'm loving, watching, listening, reading and that I'm excited about throughout the month. I thought that this page would be really useful to just look back at it and see all the things that I was checking out in July. I did the spread in the same concept as my habit tracker, but I left the squares blank in order to, throughout the month, write things down. You can adapt this page however you want and do it as a review for the month, for example. I think this page is not a must-have in your bullet journal, but every now and then I like to try new pages, so I decided to try this one for July. I will also post this spread on my Instagram once it's filled in. The final page for this setup is my weekly spread. I decided to do a layout that I did back in April in a journal with me video here on my channel and that I really enjoyed. I'm doing individual spaces for each day with a mini calendar and an event section on the side for the week. I don't do this layout very often because it's a little bit time consuming to do, but I really like how it looks when everything is done on my journal. For the mini calendar, I used my calendar stamps from before, I did the event section on the side and I highlighted the headers with the zebra mind liner. I did the brown rectangles for the days of the week, which wasn't my idea initially, but now there is no going back, and I ended up writing the numbers for the days on the side using the green Pentel Fuda touch pen. I'm finishing up the page by adding the stickers and the washi tape. The washi tapes that I'm using are from the washi tape shop and I will have a stationery haul coming soon on my channel showing them in more detail so stay tuned for that. So with everything done, it's time for the flip through. I'm so proud of myself for trying something new and to use stickers in my bullet journal. I have been with zero motivation and creativity lately to create spreads in my art journal and I think this theme sparked the side that I needed to be more creative on that area. I hope you enjoyed my setup and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!